Hello everyone, this is uh, Robert Lin from Nimotone Microcontrol Application Based Group. I'm very honored here to introduce you our IoT security solutions by MCU and MPU, as well as our latest security technologies. In the beginning, let's address common IoT security threats. Firstly, it's unsafe uh, communication, unauthorized access, like uh, remote access, private information leaks, home invasions. How do we protect the connection? We can adopt secure socket layer SSL, TLX protocols, digital certificates, symmetric and asymmetric key systems for authentication. Then security features of an MCU will need Secure storage for unique ID, certificates, keys, unpredictable random number generator, cryptographic accelerator. Here is a, a simple figure to illustrate an IoT device it goes through gateway network to cloud service. When data trans transmitting in the channel, it will face eavesdropping, spoofing, tampering with data, and local device may get injecting malicious codes from network, tampering with data, even entire firmware leakage to get cloning device. Secondly, it's a compromised IoT devices like botnet attack, malware attack. How do we authorize the embedded firmware image and the firmware update? Then security features of an MCU will cover secure boot and secure OTA, secure storage for certificates, keys, signature, cryptographic accelerators, trust zone isolation to limit access, OTP for lifecycle management. Thirdly, it's a physical attack. Physical tampering like a JTAG interface access, clock and voltage pins glitches. Then security features of an MCU will cover physical tampering detection, protected, protected flash memory inside of an MCU, trust zone isolation to limit access can help, clock pin monitoring and voltage pin glitch detection. After discussion the IoT security threats, we can set up the MCU security target, depending on attack types on MCU. Here we categorize the three levels, invasive hardware attacks, non-invasive hardware attacks, software attacks. For the top level invasive hardware attacks like covering microprobing, FIB, focused ion beam. So these uh, attacks need to be conducted in a very special environment like a laboratory. So these uh, attacks may targeting may be targeting payment related applications for a secure chip. For non-invasive hardware attacks and software attacks, we believe the IoT application, medical application and the other general MCU applications will also need the security features in the future. Here we listed currently progress of IoT security related applications. This slide will help you to understand how to integrate sufficient security features to defend against the software attacks and the non-invasive hardware attacks. Here we listed the CC, CSAP, PSA, CSPN, IEC 62443, and the layer levels for matching software attacks, non-invasive hardware attacks, and the invasive hardware attacks. In particular, we want to address the CCF and PSA 
these two standards are getting popular for IoT applications. Here is a summary for new micro IoT security technology summary. In overall, we have uh, four categories, MCU system security, crypto security, product lifecycle security, and the software and service. With MCU system security, we have a secure boot, device identification, isolation. This cover trust, trust zone M, trust zone A. Brush memory protection, system anti-tampering, chip level security. For crypto security, we have uh, our homemade uh, TRNG, hardware accelerators for different uh, cryptographic acceleration, secure storage, product lifecycle security covering product lifecycle measurement mechanism. We also incorporate uh, debug interface security into our product lifecycle security. We provide uh, a lot of uh, security reference uh, software for your implementation, the security functions easily. We can also provide a provision service, including key certificate, even firmware. Now let's jump into our new micro M235X security MCU product. We develop the MCU security features by our first generation M2351 covering M261, M262, M263. We started from secure boot key generation, secure boot of root of trust, anti-chrome, secure debug, and the secure connectivity with the embed RTOX, SSL, TOX, DTLS libraries, Volta firmware over the air update, product lifecycle management. Then we develop the secure storage, highly secure storage assurance features also for cryptographic side channel attack, differential power analysis attack mitigation, photo injection mitigation. Here is a more deep discussion for our M235X IoT security microcontroller. In the age of uh, M2351, it's uh, our first uh, Codex M23 based uh, trust zone CPU, M CPU based M MCU. We in integrated the trust zone CPU and the software, also cryptographic hardware, PCB level tempering mitigation countermeasure with our M2351. So it's a, a software root of trust. When we get got uh, a lot of uh, feedback from our customers and, uh, um, and uh, the market, we realized the secure key store importance. So we enhanced our secure key store, surrounded by reduced EM signals, chip label tempering for key store, secure key provision service, also the data scramble mechanism inside of MCU. So with uh, this uh, uh, very complete security mechanism, we have confidence M2354 can be hardware root of trust solution for IoT ecosystem. This slide emphasizes our M2354 IoT platform with TFM. TFM is mainly uh, promoted by MCU industry, especially from um, for, 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 for ARM-based MCU. With the trust firmware firmware architecture, customer can easily to develop a program software 
on the Trustome architecture. We, Nimotron, provide very complete IoT platform by M2354 with uh, trusted firmware and libraries for, cut, for developers, customers, to easily de develop different IoT applications with a different uh, uh, connectivity, like uh, different uh, radio frequency driver, radio frequency module, different uh, RTOS uh, vendors, cloud vendors, and uh, the application root of trust, PSA root of trust are provided by our trusted firmware and libraries. Except uh, the very complete security features, our M2354 series also have outstanding perform power performance. Here we listed uh, the power mode and the wake up time respectively. So, Basically, our M2354, like M2351 also, we can provide the two, two kinds of uh, uh, power supply through LDO and DCDC. You can check the power performance with our full speed 96 megahertz in normal run mode, idle mode, fast, fast wake up power down mode, normal power down mode, standard power down mode, and the deep power down mode. This slide shows our, our supporting for multiple real-time operating system. The multiple real-time operating system support can speed up your RTOS porting if you do need a operating system ready on your device to save your OS porting time. Here we listed the, the IP connectivity ready status covering Wi-Fi module, MBIoT reference module, and A02.14.4 covering thread and Zigbee. Also for LoLa non-IP connectivity for RTOS, we now support embed OS, free out host, and artist ray. We also have uh, several cloud system con connectivity evaluation done, like covering ARM, Pelion, Amazon AWS IoT, and Microsoft Azure IoT Hub. Here, um, and I'm happy to introduce our advanced security features for cybersecurity, uh, especially for IoT gateway, IIoT, industrial IoT gateway. The MA35 D1 is a trusted, trusted system for IoT products security requirements. It can, it can realize execution security, communication security, chip level storage security, system security, for gateway devices. So there are two dual, there are dual Cortex A35 cores inside of the MPU. And there is a, a real time monitor Cortex M4 CPU. Also, the TSI, Trusted Secure Island, covering all the security features, functions. The secure environment and feature realize the protection, detection, and recovery for IoT products. In particular, the TSI is an isolated uh, secure hardware unit. The built-in cryptographic accelerators, key store, and OTP flash memory. All the features can perform all the security function operations, including secure boot and uh, temper pins detection. Here is a Nimotron security technology roadmap summary. Um, with this slide, you can see our MCU and the MPU products can help you to against uh, software attacks and the lightware hardware attacks, as well as uh, provide a secure boot and trust execution environment. We also 
monitoring the new industrial requirements to develop a new mechanism to meet the, the new future security standards. So we started from M0, M4 series with the basic uh, memory protection unit, cryptographic accelerator, PNGT engine, unique ID, flash memory protection mechanism, CRC temper pins. And these, you can see their fit, the functions with our existing M0, M4 products to against the software attacks. With uh, M40, M480 series, we start develop secure boot OTP memory and our M2351, the, the first uh, trust ARM VAM based uh, MCU. We put uh, trust zone SOM for secure boot and the trust, trust uh, execution environment. So M2351 is eligible to get the PSA level two, level two certified. When entering M2354, we enhanced our secure boot trust zone design with our secure key store, as I explained previously, more OTP flash memory, then we have uh, a very complete product, li product life cycle management covering life cycle control, debug tone management, also the photo injection and the uh, cryptographic side channel attack protections. So we are we have confident, we are confident M2354 can get PSA level three certified soon. In the future, for the vertical market, we will monitor in the late, latest security standards developed by different industries. So our next MCU or MPU product for IoT security, we will develop unified secure boot covering bootloader, crypto key store, flash memory controller, also for external flash or external storage security, we will have uh, on-chip on the fly AES decryption, flash write protection. And our crypto hardware will keep enhancing to protect the feed against the more complex side channel attacks and the full injection attacks. Thanks for your time to listen to me the introduction. And it's very welcome of you to go on our official website to get more our IoT security related product information.